welcome back to my channel. I have something very exciting to tell you before you watch my amazing little YouTube video. So I'm here to tell you that I was kindly gifted this amazing hoodie. This one here is the peach tie dye one, which was personally my favourite. It's so warm, fluffy, cosy, literally the best thing ever in my life. It has a hood and it has a pocket for snacks. Well, I would just for snacks. And the pocket's literally like massive. So I am here to tell you that not only did I get an ready, I'm here to give you a code to get money off an ready. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here to give you money off. So my code is LClark35, we put at the bottom, and that gets you £35 off a nudie. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Yep. Amazing. So, don't tell me I don't treat you as amazing, because I do. So, go away, get yourself a nudie at a discount place. Hi everyone! I always come on here, make a video in the spare for a while, and then come back. But it just is what it is, right? Okay. I know I'm really bad at this, but I do try, okay? Um, so today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. So recently, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, follow below. Um, but recently I've started trying to do like influencing on Instagram. Um, so I've been working with some brands. Um, some of the brands I've worked with, well, I work with Lonely quite a lot. Um, which is a clothing brand. I've also worked with Zaffo, which is another clothing brand. I've worked with Estrid. I've worked with L'Oreal Paris. Just trying to get myself out there, really. I'm just, I'm just very small just now. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to do anything to like get a bit bigger because eventually, maybe, maybe it would be something that I would want to do like part time, full time. I don't know. But either way. That is what I'm focusing on just now. Um, so I am spending a lot of time trying to focus on my Instagram. Um, I also have my TikTok as well. Um, however, I'm looking to grow on Instagram rather than TikTok. I know obviously just now, like, so many people are getting like famous like from TikTok, but I don't want to be known as like a TikToker. I want to be known as like an influencer kind of thing on Instagram. Like, I'd rather be known through that platform. Anyway, um, I thought I would just like show you what I do when I like go to shoot content and stuff. I seen someone that um that like I watch like quite a lot and they did this. Obviously, they're a lot bigger than me, um, but I thought I would maybe just show you like what I need to do to like go out and shoot the content. Like a lot of people just think it's photo here and there. Like it's so easy. Like it's not. <laughs> it's so so not. I need to plan the outfits, like, need to, like, it needs to be a decent day, like, it needs to be ni nice and sunny at least, or, like, if it's bikinis, and it needs to be, like, not raining, really, because I hate it when it rains, because it's trying to find places that are, like, indoors and stuff. I'm not really too comfortable yet, like, taking photos indoors and, like, restaurants and stuff, like, no. <laughs> and I'm very, very fussy for lighting, so... That's why I do quite like doing everything outdoors. Like you'll see some photos on my Instagram that are indoors, but I prefer doing everything outdoors when it's nice and sunny. But living in Scotland, it's not very sunny. So yeah, um, what I'll do is it's currently the weekend after Easter. Um, this week I've not been too busy, so I should have really filmed this before, but I've just been kind of having a chill week. I've just grabbed a few things that I'm planning on taking with me on Tuesday to get content in. I have just finished shooting some content for Romeway, so you'll have already seen them on my Instagram. But all the stuff in this video today is all my own stuff. I've bought all this stuff and I do take photos like in brand stuff that they sent me, but I also take photos of my own stuff. Like I like to have like a little mix sometimes. I feel like when I'm posting, sometimes it might be quite a lot of just like brand stuff that I've been given or sent. But I have like my own little schedule. I post like every two days. Unless it's a Saturday, I won't post on a Saturday. That's just, that's just what I've 
thought of and what works for me. Um, and I also have like a certain time that I post that as well just because it works in favour for like when I look at my insights and stuff I can see when people are active, I can see how like how much engagement I get depending on the time and the day and like how often I post and it's what I can commit to so that's that's just how it works for me. I bought these two bodysuits like they're like a lace red bodysuit and then a white one so like because I've bought these I'll try and work around these like to match an outfit rather than do like a different outfit. Does that make sense? Don't really know. Um, And I also don't like wearing stuff that's like high neck or anything because when I go shoot my content, every time I go to shoot content, I do it in the same day. Like I do it in like, maybe it takes like two or three hours like out of my day to do it all. So obviously I'm changing and stuff like throughout the day, like sometimes like not in the best of places that I need to get changed. Um, so obviously I don't like stuff that's like if it's really tight to my neck then I can't get it like over my head and it'll just take all my makeup off. So I do have that issue so I need to like watch what kind of stuff I bring. Enough of me rambling on, let's just get to it. First of all we have this little white lace um, bodysuit. I'll tell you where all these stuff is from because you might want to know. So this is from St Jeannie's. Um, I actually got this when I went to Limston yesterday. They have like a new shop that's a bit like, it's called Deviate, but I think it's just like loads of brands that you get like online, just all into one shop, which sounds absolutely amazing, was absolutely amazing. However, I only just got this bodysuit, so anyway, right, got this bodysuit. I was thinking of just being quite basic and either pairing it with these shorts which are from Pretty Little Thing leather shorts or pairing them with my leather leggings from New Look um, or I could pair them actually I actually have loads of options or I could pair them with this black skirt or I could pair it with this zebra skirt I originally was thinking with the zebra skirt um, but yeah so that's what I'm thinking Forget about those other ones, I got distracted. So, wear this bodysuit and this skirt is what I'm thinking. Um, I would wear these with these heels. Oh, they're not even there. Here they are. These are my forever, they're so dirty. Um, they've been through a lot. I've literally had these since I was like 17 or something. They're just so comfy, like, they're really high. I'm not really bothered with the height. They're, like, meant to be, like, a white kind of colour, so they go with everything. And I literally got them for a tenner from ASOS so many years ago. And I've worn them about a million times. But they're really good to shoot content in and they're really comfy, so, yeah. So that's what I would wear that outfit for. So that's one outfit. The second outfit... Oh, I've just got that caught. So the second outfit would be this red lace bodysuit which is from I saw it first I got this from Hidden Fashion though so um Hidden Fashion is a bit like that shop that I went to in Livingston they sell they sell lots of different like brands of clothes and they just sell it for I think I would say a cheaper price but I don't know if it is or not or if it's just because there's a sale no idea but they basically like sell loads of different brands also this is not an ad for any of these clothes either because I wish it was but it's not <laughs> so yeah I'd wear this little red lace bodysuit I think this is inside out but you get the point I'd wear that definitely with these shorts pretty little thing the leather leggings from new look or the black leather skirt from pretty little thing I would definitely just have to be quite basic with that I'm really fussy with colours and stuff so like everything kind of needs to go or it needs to be like kind of like plain so also like the red with probably I'm thinking the shorts not gonna lie because I wear my leather leggings all the time but it's just because they're so nice so this is what I'm thinking this outfit um possibly with heels those heels or I have little black boots that I could wear as well um the next thing is I got these seamless um cycling shorts from Primark um so these are just the best thing in my life they're 
so comfy they're like so stretchy they just fit you in all the right places so these are go-to and they're in a lovely nice turquoise yeah i would say turquoise turquoise color and i love my bright colors so this is definitely getting a little show on the gram and um, what i was thinking was this was i was possibly thinking this top i got this top from iso first because of like the teal bit like aqua i'd literally say turquoise you know what i mean right because of the green i was thinking it would go it is a different shade though so i'm not too sure um i thought this was lighter so i don't really know possibly um if not i have a white pretty little thing top that i could wear and i also have another white top that says honey on it um and black writing so i could wear any of them which another one that's pretty basic this is obviously from pretty little thing um and then i said yeah I say that? yeah so this one's from iso first and then so i'm thinking this probably then i also have a pink pair a wee short from primark and i would definitely wear this with like a plain one like that's the most annoying thing as well it's like see if i do a color i'll probably have something plain to go with it because i never seem to have like the same colors I take all the stuff with me on tuesday and what i do is basically i put it in a suitcase sometimes i put it in a bag but my suitcase has like a little zip bit so that's where i usually put my heels and stuff because i don't want my heels to get dirty with like my clothes and stuff so usually i pop that in the suitcase then i usually pair it with a bag what i did ages ago which was the most amazing idea ever was i got two of the same bag one in black one in white so <laughs> they literally can go with anything and um, these are both from sheen and they're the best things ever so usually i'm wearing one of these in the photos um however i did just get this these two cute new bags from primark yesterday a little coral one and a little blue one i was thinking i could maybe i don't, really don't know this outfit's like this outfit's annoying me because of the shades right but this kind of matches they can kind of all different shades this is like a blue oh i don't know because i was like a little bit here in the white little same and then little bag but they're all different shades so i would really need to try this one on to see if that would all go annoying also i seem to ramble on a little bit but it's okay when i was packing my suitcase i thought i better try on my outfit that was unsure about if it's gonna go because if not i'm going to pick something else so i think it goes so i'm just gonna try and show you because i've got my tripod so this is the top here then these are the cycling shorts i personally think it goes so i'm gonna wear it i'm not too sure if it goes with the bag though i might pop the bag on well let's see oh i think it might this has got a little glimpse in the mirror there so i'll probably make it a little bit higher so it's like here or something but i think that goes if not if it doesn't go then i'm not really bothered because this is quite a casual look anyway so i probably wouldn't wear a bag with it but yeah i thought i'd just show you this before i put it into my pack my case i've just put them all in like outfits like in the case and then i brought that bikini but i'm not sure if i'm going to take content in it or not just depending on the day then i've popped my bags in here i also have a black bag under there but you can't really see and then i've just to put my my boots in there um because all these will go with my black boots apart from this kind of stuff oh my hair is going in front of the camera um apart from this kind of stuff which um i'm gonna bring my air forces into it so i'll probably wear them on the day i just basically take some of my photos with my boyfriend so unlucky for him he has to drive me wherever i want to go or need to go 100 percent if i'm taking a bikini photo or like a swimsuit i'll go to a beach um and take the content there and then like round about that area i'll get content for the rest of my stuff so before i end this vlog i think this is squid actually here we go before i end this vlog first of all i'd like to say commitment this is a power bank yes it is because 
my chargers are nowhere near where the light is. So, yeah, my phone was gonna die, and I thought by the time it's charged, it'll be dark. So, so yeah, came out man. Anyway, I thought we'd just talk a few, talk about a few things. Um, we've got to go that. You might be interested in, you might not be. Obviously, I mentioned that I post every two days on Instagram, but also when I'm posting every two days on Instagram, I'm posting several times a day on my Insta stories. There's never ever anything like nothing on my story. There was yesterday, but yesterday I had a very boring day, not gonna lie, so I wasn't too very much. I was just kind of chilled and watched Netflix, so I kind of forgot about it. But every single other day, apart from then, for the past god knows how long i've been posting every single day constantly um maybe about three or four sometimes five six seven um maybe not seven anyway the point is i've been posting every day on my insta story and i've also been using polls question boxes i've been just been posting like happy saturday kind of thing like Consistency is key. If this is something that you are interested in, I know for a lot of you this might not be, but I could be wrong. You just might have thought that about me. Um, but yeah, it's consistency that's key. I started in January trying to do like influencing. I joined a program that basically helped me, kind of guide me through it. They post like different collabs up on their page and you, if you're part of their program then you can comment the program has in it like lots of information like just about like all the information you kind of need to know like about stuff like you need to say that's an ad or you need to say it's gifted and literally just like all the basics basically a step-by-step -step basic guide of what not to do um and what to do um so um on that program I uh, also got someone else's program because everyone's is slightly different because obviously different people um, and they do obviously post sometimes they have collaborations that they're offering and sometimes they get picked sometimes they don't but the main thing is that I've been doing oh, I think I just knocked that off the main thing I've been doing is contacting brands myself so like there has been brand there is brands that have contacted me there's brands that have declined there's brands that like i've accepted but i'm not going to say what they are um but i have emailed a lot of brands like there's no harm in trying like if you don't try you don't get kind of thing like same with like paid collaborations and stuff like if they offered you on a gifted basis you said to them no like i want paid like these are my rates or whatever then like you don't ask you don't get because if you just say yeah to gifted then they're gonna be like oh that's fine just send you it. like send whatever but if you say no then they might be like all right okay we'll give you this or we'll give you your rates or whatever so there's no harm in trying um is the moral of the story um, a few other things it's really annoying because i won't take content unless i'm tanned and tanning is such an effort um so that's like my pet peeve. I'm just rambling all the nonsense, but I suppose if you are uninterested, you would have left the video by now. But yeah, I think that's all I was gonna say. If you have any questions about any of this or like any tips like that you need or would like to know about, um, feel free to ask me. I might not know, not gonna lie, but I'm always happy to help like I've obviously started it in January I didn't really see much results at the very start like it was like it was like constant constant work and with my old job I was working 9 to 4 Monday to Friday and then I also do coaching on a Sunday morning so I was spending a lot of time working so I didn't have very much time and then I also go to the gym three times a week so as you can probably think about like the amount of time that I was spending at the gym straight after work and then going to sleep because up at bloody seven in the morning to leave for work so yeah it's a lot easier now um I have a different job and I still do my coaching but my new job gives me so much more time to focus on things like this don't do the um the follow loops so say someone was like 
oh if you follow you follow me I'll follow you back like kind of thing like that is like the worst thing ever to do um I've never actually ever done that um if someone's asked me to follow them I've usually had to look at their page anyway just to see what they post and if by chance like it's something that I would actually someone I would actually follow then I follow them um but other than that like that's what the programs kind of teach you as well it's like you don't need to be obliged is obliged the word obliged to like follow these people and stuff like they shouldn't really be doing that like that's not an interaction because if you're following each other just for the sake of following each other but you don't engage in your post because you aren't interested in what they're posting then it's not that great um but yeah as i said i'm rambling on and if you have any questions for me just message me dm me i check my requests constantly anyway so just let me know um i hope you've enjoyed this vlog this was kind of weird so much goes on in my head about like all this kind of stuff so it does just come out like a what's the word like a mess kind of thing like it's like i'm just projecting mess like it doesn't make sense or it's like loads of little bitty things but that's how my brain is currently working with all of this because it's on my mind 24 7 but yeah let me know hope you enjoyed the vlog <laughs>